cosplay. What is it? Many people have asked, and actually it's quite easy to find out. Go online. Cosplay is when people dress up as uh, characters from manga or video games or television or even po dead pop stars and come together in celebration of dressing up as whatever it is they've dressed up as. It's quite fascinating, really. It's quite, it's actually the most endearing thing I've ever seen in Geekdom produce. It's come from Japan. It's now big over here. And frankly, uh, you feel like an idiot if you're not wearing a costume. Uh, you're not going to have your way to, to make something and spend months and, and, and hundreds of pounds to make it look absolutely fantastic. And believe me, some of the costumes here are just wonderful. ladies who are dressed in things I don't understand. So you got to tell me who you are because I will literally don't know. So who are you? Uh, I am Judith. My nickname is Yuriko. We are both from Hungary because yeah, we are the contestants for the Euro cosplay composition. It's very impressive. How much does this cost? Oh my god, I, I didn't count it because uh, I, I made this costume for nine months and uh, I spent uh, a little every month then and, and so it added up but I, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't blame you, it's merely one of those secrets and again, it's really impressive. Uh, I didn't count it either but it was uh, over a year that I made it because it's only one weapon but I have two other weapons up there. But I will bring them down just for the stage. Uh, no, two more brilliant cosplayers here. Please tell me, who are you? Both. I'm Dr. Stein, the Soul Eater. Um, I'm Alice from Pandora Hearts. And what, why, why come dressed up to a place like this? She has a pretty white dress. It's just fun. It doesn't happen often. It kind of got to make the effort when it does kind of come around. So yeah, I mean, like, it kind of shows your enthusiasm for the kind of subject matter and the anime thing. So yeah. I mean, it's the, the work you put into it is amazing. This is fantastic. I don't know about the jeans, and that's pretty simple stuff. I mean, but I mean, does, that must be part of the, the appeal. Just, you get to make the costume, and then you get to present it to everybody and stuff. Is that part of it? Yeah, it's a bit of hell making the costume, but once it's done, it's fine. So, what have you come as? They're actually quite rude to all these cosplay people. They don't really want to talk to you at all. In my opinion, you're the biggest name here. How does it feel to be one of the, you know, the biggest, most famous people in a humble Comic Con like London? Well, it's not humble. I mean, I've been out on the floor. There, it's, it's a mass of people. And um, what's really fun is that so many of the people are in costume, uh, anime costumes mostly. Uh, and I'm not a, I, I don't know anime very much, so I'm always asking somebody, oh, what? what what character is that, you know, and stuff like that. So it's fun. It's fun. Well, my geek passion is sailing. Okay. okay. So, you know, and I loved uh, in machines and how they work. And This Dalek dress is my favorite. And if it wasn't for the fact that I already have issues with my sexuality, I'd want that. <laughs> it's almost too exciting for me. And I know that sounds sarcastic. It's really not. It's kind of like I could, I've been trying to pull off this look for years. Never going to happen with my frame. I end up looking like a, a mini pops version. So, okay, which one is the most expensive suit to make in, by and large? Because I'm going to guess it's that one. Um, I'm not entirely sure. It possibly is this one because... Is that because David Tennant was a bit too designer? Yeah. 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 It's uh, was out to buy a tailored suit. What are you from dressed as? Please, please explain. Um, today we are Zombie Disney. So we basically just take a, take a normal character and zombie, zombie them up. So this is called Captain Jack. Captain Jack Sparrow. And Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, okay, you see I'm a bit ignorant with Disney stuff, so I, I do apologise. You guys look gruesome and fantastic. I didn't know that was possible. Keep it up. <laughs> I've noticed there are, there are girls dressed as boys and obviously there are boys dressed as girls, is that, and no one cares, that's just cosplay. Yeah, but um, it's known as crossplay. Crossplay? Yeah. Ah, okay, I've learned something already. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, how did you get these costumes? Where do they come from? They came from the SGC Armoury. Right. And... Standard military issue. Sorry? Standard military issue. So I'm not allowed to hire any of these, I, I can't buy them. 
No, it's not a fancy dress costume. So, uh, so what's it like working for the United States Air Force? It's classified. Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh wait, no, you're dressed up. This is fantastic. This is the detail again. It's uh, I'm very impressed with the detail of like these costumes. How long does it take to make? A very long time. It's all, all the stitching is done to screen accuracy as well, so it's all exactly stitched. Wow, did you sit and watch the film painstakingly too? I to, yeah, I had to. It was the only way I could get reference. I had to watch it over and over again. On a Give us a twirl. I've got to ask, do you, do you feel any way subconscious when you wear something that tight and that figure hurting? You love it. When you've got the head, I don't care. If I've got something on my head and no one can see my face, I will do anything. Do you think that's the same for a lot of people who dress quite skimply? A lot of people are quite young and it's quite, a, it's quite an outgoing thing to do for young people. Definitely. I mean, if I was in sort of less like less clothing, I didn't have a wig or like a mask or something on, I would definitely feel a lot more self-conscious. But knowing that you can just pretend to be a character that's, you know, quite iconic and you can do anything and no, nobody cares. So We're here with, uh, with Tony Todd. Hello, Tony. What's up? How are you? Now, um, again, you're one of the big, for me, one of the bigger names here at the, uh, at the London Comic Con. Uh, how does London Comic Con um, or the Expo compare to, say, the San Diego ones or the American ones? Um, well, directly in comparison to San Diego, that's more of a job-seeking one. And, uh, like, every time I do that, I end up with a job offer. Okay. I've yet to get a job offer in England. I don't know why. I get like promises and stuff, but you know. You have appeared in more genre shows than, than anyone could shake a stick at. It's, it's it just happened all of a sudden. You know, once the Star Trek thing happened, uh, and then they kept bringing me back as different characters, and all of a sudden I was able to knock out Babylon Five, Andromeda. You know, pretty much all the ones that. They I mean, you, you, I get a sense that you're very proud of it. Are you very proud of all this? I'm proud, yeah, looking back. Not many people can say that they were in all those, you know, cultural things. Uh, never did a series regular, though. Mm. That's, that's probably for the best, because I'm a nine-to-five guy. What's your, uh, your, your geeky passion, the thing that you're most nerdy about? Video games. Really? We, we have a conversation to have afterwards, then, because uh, I'm a big gamer. But, uh, Mr. Todd, um, thank you very much. Looking at some more cosplay, and we have some uh, some uh, stormtroopers, Imperial stormtroopers here, who are just. It's all right, lads. Just no, it's all right. We're just making it. No, no, no. It's all right. We're just making it. No. no. I'm from Blood Rain and dressed up as Rain. And I've noticed that you're probably the most popular person here, getting a lot of photographs taken. How does that feel? Um, that feels great. <laughs> that's why you did it, right? No, I did it because I love the character. Of course, that's the, that's the second reason. Um, so tell me, how, how does it take to make a costume like this? Um, well, it took me working in the evenings, about five weeks, to make my actual costume. It took me about three weeks to make these in the evenings. And would you describe yourself as a geek or a dork or anything like that? Oh, uber geek. Oh, uber geek. Yeah. This is where it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the state of geeking today. So please tell me, tell everyone who uh, is watching, who are you and what have you come as? Uh, I'm Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. Silent Hill. This is a very familiar mask. I've seen it in many, many costumes, but I have to say that the detail in this is, is remarkable. I mean, uh, a lot of the cosplayers seem to be uh, fine on detail. Are you, are you nerdy and geeky about detail? Is it important to you? Um, it's important that it doesn't look but uh, that it doesn't look like it's just been made out of cardboard or of cheap materials. It's important that it has the look of the game or of the movie. Otherwise, it's, it's fine by me. I mean, w whatever material you use doesn't matter as long as it looks good, really. And uh, who are these three? Um, that's a lying figure. And they are nurses. <laughs> Do you think cosplay is a sexual thing? Because look at you, you're buff, you're not wearing a shirt. You know, and for a lot of people who don't know about it, yeah. they look at it and they and they and it, they wonder about that kind of aspect. So, as a hardcore cosplayer, is that an aspect for you? Some people take it that way, but then again, in some games, uh, the sexual um, innuendo is always there underneath, perhaps to sell the game or to make it more attractive. But either way, ooh. <laughs> um, either way, I don't think cosplaying itself is sexual, uh, but some people do show off with their cosplay. And finally, are you cold? Uh, I'm not really cold, actually, but outside it's, it's kind of chilly. <laughs> I've come as a man about to be assimilated by a Cyberman. Fantastic. So listen, it's, uh, it's been a long day, uh, man in costume. If I was to get a pint? A pint? Yeah, yeah. Are you buying? I'm definitely buying. I think he'll have a pint of oil. 
Fantastic. Yeah, okay, it. let's go.